what is going on guys welcome back to the channel thank you for cooling with jay as always so in today's video guys i'm going to go a little bit more in depth as to why i was swapping this beauty for the street fighter um obviously in the last video i talked about which i will link up in the description above about you know kind of throwing it out there what were y'all's opinions about me you know swapping this for the 2020 v4s or the uh v4s street fighter so today's video guys i'm gonna go in discussion about why i would swap and of course as always guys please subscribe to the channel like and smash that bell all right guys let's get to this video hit the gas on them nitro youngin cooling and being cool that's ice cold youngin we really bad at bad at no bluffing self-made boy that's the end of discussion cooling with jay they know we cooling right Coolin' with Jay, they know we coolin', right? Coolin' with Jay, they know we coolin'. You ain't really coolin' when you think you're foolin'. As you can tell, I'm just leaving the gym. Just leave a 24 hour fitness and I'm headed back home. And I figured it'd be a great time to do a video. Now, for those of you who don't know, <laughs> it is gold. Um, let's see what it says. Give me one second. Let's see what the temperature says because I'm telling you guys it is cold. Oh, so it's a 71. Not too bad, but it, it feels cold. How about that? Anyway, guys, now I want to first start off by saying, um, there were some comments that saying that, hey, you know, at the end of the day, it's my bike and my choice. Absolutely. At the end of the day, I am going to choose what it, I feel like is best for my channel. But, however, I want it to be more neutral, you know. I'm going to do what I'm going to do on my channel, but I also want y'all's input as well. Now, some of you YouTubers might ask y'all for opinion, and then they, it doesn't matter. I mean, if I was to give it a percentage, I'd probably say 70-30 or 60 40 at the end of the day obviously more of the percent is going to be what i want to do but i also want y'all's input in it you know because at the end of the day yes i'm making the content for me but it's for y'all you know i want to see what y'all would like to see you know that's kind of the whole point so that's my two cents on it so don't think your opinion doesn't matter in short all right because your opinion does matter to me so anyway um so my thought process with the street fighter was um so what i learned i guess in the past year and a half of owning this bike there's ton of content that i didn't get to do that y'all didn't get to see necessarily right y'all got to obviously see all the mods on the bike but i don't get to take y'all through that journey through that experience of getting it modified right be able to see all the mods be put on the bike y'all didn't get to see that and i realized and i realized that was a missed opportunity so that's the things i'm thinking about guys when i think about the, 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 the b4 street fighter i'm thinking about not only the comfortability the riding experience talking about that i'm also thinking about being able to do you know all the mods all over again you know the exhaust and um i've been talking about working with ducati for motor corsa and in my regard so motor corsa is my local dealership which happens to also be um one of the top dealers in the u.s um I'm not sure who ranks them, but that's just the ranking. Um, they're ranked number one. Um, my experience has been nothing but enjoyable. Um, I'm pretty close friends with the guy who sold me the bike. Like we talk and text and comment on social media all the time. And I've gone to his house and had, you know, drinks and parties, all kind of stuff. So even though he sold me the bike, it doesn't feel like a, 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 a salesman. But anyway, um, I'm talking about working with my dealer um, to like make video content. Um, I'm sure some of you know 650E, um, you, you get to watch him kind of modify his sport bikes. And I've been talking about doing that sort of thing with my dealership with the Street Fighter. You know, so those sort of the things that I want to bring to the channel. 
guys and I think that y'all would enjoy um, so like for example all the modifications I want to document and record um, do them one at a time I would say the big stuff the small stuff you know wouldn't be the big of a thing um, I think it'd be cool to go through the process of how do you get it painted uh, I have a customized paint guy I know who does who did uh, a bike from my dealership I think I want to get, for example, like, go through experience of getting the uh, radiators painted, either red or black, uh, you know, the exhaust put on, modifications. Also, guys, I'm thinking about long distance rides. That's also what I'm thinking about, too. I'm not saying I can't take long distance rides on this guy, but from, from what I assume, it'd be much more enjoyable as far as my body's concerned. So I wouldn't mind making a trip down to Vegas, down to California to meet up with any of you who watch my channel who live in those areas. So those are things that I'm, why is this car going so slow? Um, what are the kind of things I'm thinking about guys? Like, they would have made long cruises, uh, rides up to Seattle. I know they had a motor vlogger meet up last year. I want to be able to do stuff like that on a more comfortable bike. I don't want to get fully away from a sport bike, but the idea of mixing the two or having a bike that does both is appealing to me. That's why I'm thinking about the Street Fighter. And that's why, guys, I was bummed about it not having cruise control or heated grips. It's because, well, it's colder up here than it is in some of y'all states. I've watched a, you know, I watch some motor vloggers who are um, who are in the Cali, Nevada area, and they can vlog essentially every day if they want to. You know, it's decently warm most times of the year. Well, I don't have that. I don't have that here. So the idea of being able to have heated grips and cruise control is very intriguing to me for that reason. You know, because I'm thinking, hey, that's perfect. You know. Then I'm able to ride more days out of the year because my hands aren't going to freeze off. And I can do longer rides because I have cruise control so my wrist won't hurt. So I'll think about being able to expand my content, guys, and not just riding around, a, let's say, a two-hour radius of my house, you know. I wanted to be able to expand that, be able to go way out, you know, to the coast and things like that and not think about... Uh, you know, things like um, wrist hurting and body aching and holding the wrist for two hours straight. Um, when I went to Seattle, sorry, when I went to Eugene, that's like an hour, not like three hours, like a two hour ride. That wasn't that bad. Um, I'm looking to see my trip feel. Okay, seven miles. All right. Um, like that ride wasn't that bad on the way there because it was it was twisties all the way to Eugene so that part wasn't that bad the ride back though because we took the freeway because he had to rush back to pick up his daughter oh man that that joker whew, I was feeling it you know my whole body like I went home guys and ate and I passed out so that's why guys that's what I'm thinking of of, of, of the things I want to bring to the channel and why the Street Fighter would be cool because you know it can expand my content it can bring some unique and different content to my channel you know and it gives me the possibility to go to different places now in the far off future I wouldn't mind uh, looking, uh, looking into getting like one of those uh, like a truck or like those uh, uh, those vans or whatever and be able to like put my, my bike in a van and drive down to California or Las Vegas I don't know about cross country but at least at least be able to like I said you know go to different scenes so that's the big thing for me is be able to bring y'all not only more content but to change up where where I get the content from because where I live, you have to drive, you know, half an hour to an hour away just to get to a place to able to twist and turn. Then you make the content in an hour or so to ride back. So.
that's what I'm thinking about, guys. To be able to bring those type of things to my channel for my viewers to be able to watch. Um, yeah, guys, comment down below. Let me know what y'all think about that idea. Like I said, it's, it's, it's definitely my channel and my content, but I want my viewers involved. Other guys might not care. Well, I'm not, I'm not other guys. I actually care what y'all's opinions are to a certain extent. Um, hey guys, all I really got for today, let me know what y'all thoughts were on the Street Fighter. Did y'all like it? Uh, would you purchase it if you had the money or would you go with the uh, V4S? Um, but all right guys, with that being said, thank you for coming with Jay as always guys. And please, please, please don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button guys. I am very, very close to touching on, to touching on um, 1,000 subscribers. So, it's getting there. Alright guys, with that being said, I'm done yapping. I'll see y'all in the next video.